Well, hello, and welcome back to Discover Your Intuitive Self with your host, me, Brenda Reading. And I'm going to say this one more time for you to hear today, because I can. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. (laughs) I want to thank you for joining me on your Thanksgiving night. I hope you had a good day. I hope you got to at least see your people virtually or got to talk to them, people that are important to you in your life. I want to let you know that I really wanted to have a place for the people that are listening to this show or watching the show or anyone else that's interested to go and meet with like-minded people and ask questions or post comments or suggestions or ideas. So I started a Facebook group for you all. And I had a really hard time naming it. Guess what it's called? Yeah, you guessed it. Discover your intuitive self. (laughs) Yeah. So if you Google that or look for it on Facebook, you will find the group and just uh, click on it and I will let you in. So as far as my new website, brendareading.com, you can go there and sign up for the Snippets of Spirit newsletter, which I'm hoping to get out next week or so for you all. So anyways, back to tonight's show. It's Thanksgiving. Everybody's talking about gratitude, right? So we've talked about gratitude on the show before, um, and it's one of the emotions which has a very high vibration. We've talked about that. And it's one of the ways through gratitude that helps us connect to spirit. And I just want to talk about gratitude and that I'm grateful for all of you that you take the time to listen and that you may be trying to learn how to awaken your psychic senses, or if you're just listening because you have nothing better to do, I'm grateful for all of you. Um, But I'm also grateful for the fact that deep within each of us, each and every one of us, every one of you out there that's listening, and those of you that aren't, there is a divine spark that connects us to the all that is, the divine spark within you. You are all born with it. I was born with it. Everyone is born with it. And this connection is a great key to spiritual growth and development. People that do this kind of work that I do, I am not any more special than any one of you. I am an ordinary person, just like everyone else. But I feel like I'm living an extraordinary life because I know and I feel that connection to the divine spark within me. And this, when we use this with gratitude, we can access our spiritual growth. I used to go to classes, and one of the questions that people would be asked is, where do you feel spirit? Where do you feel the connection when you connect to spirit? And I was new, and I I would listen to everyone else talking, and they'd be like, oh, I I can feel it on my left side, or I can feel it in the back of my neck, or I can feel it up in my head. And I felt like I was doing something wrong, because when I connected to what I thought to be spirit, I felt this little, and the best word I can use to describe it is, bink, it would be like a little pop in my chest area, right around my heart. And I would know when I felt that because I could feel the love in my heart and I knew I was connected to spirit. Now, I'm not saying that people that connect in other ways are, are any less connected or that my way is any better than anyone else. I just know that it's, it's right for me. And I know that when I'm connecting through the heart, it's always for the highest and best. And that is how we're going to do our exercise tonight is we're going to connect with gratitude through the heart center, through your very own divine spark that connects you to the all that is. Now, I just want to tell you ahead of time, I don't want you worrying about, oh my gosh, I have a divine spark. I didn't know I had a divine spark. What if I don't see my divine spark? Just forget about all that, okay? What I'm going to ask you to do is just go with the flow of my voice and have an open mind. And let whatever happens happen, knowing that whatever happens or doesn't happen during this exercise is right for you right now, because you are exactly where you're supposed to be. Okay? So let's everyone just get comfortable in our chairs and close your eyes. And let's begin by taking a few deep breaths in through the nose, expanding all the way to your belly, 
and then release the breath out through the mouth. So let's do that together. Hmm. Feel yourself start to relax. Again, in through the nose and out through the mouth. Good. Just relax. And slowly roll your shoulders to your ears and around and down. And do this a few times slowly. Just relax. And breathe in and breathe out. Feel any tension roll down your shoulders, moving down through your arms to the tips of your fingers and right out to the universe. Good. Another deep breath in and out. And now focus on your center, your solar plexus area, and send any tension in that area from your center right down through your legs, down into your feet, and just send that right down through to Mother Earth. Good. Feel her grounding energy move back to you, up through the bottom of your feet, back up through your legs, and back to your solar plexus. Breathe in that grounding energy and release it out. Good. Now focus above your head. I would like you to imagine a white streaming light, a light full of pure, unconditional love. And that light above your head is flowing down right through the top of your head, soothing, loving light flowing down to your heart chakra. This pure light of love fills your heart. Feel your heart expand with this beautiful healing energy. And let your heart fill with gratitude. Gratitude for many things as we enter this Thanksgiving and holiday season. We are filled with gratitude. We are grateful for the seasons, the smell of the crisp autumn leaves, their many colors as they dance in the sunlight, the dazzling brilliance of a fresh fallen snow, the feeling of renewal and hope in the sights and sounds of spring, the buds on the trees and flowers, the song of the birds, and the lush colors and vibrance of a beautiful summer day as the soft, warm breeze brush up against our faces. We are grateful for our senses, that we are able to see, smell, taste, hear, and feel this wonderful planet that you have given to us. We are grateful for our minds and souls, that we have discernment and the precious ability and right to express our thoughts and feelings. We are grateful for our families, our loved ones, and our basic needs being met. We are so grateful for our freedoms and the men and women who have given up so much for those freedoms. We are so grateful that we can worship in the way that resonates true to our inner self. And we are grateful that we can be compassionate and tolerant of others, that we can forgive, learn, and grow to better serve each other and humanity. Just take a moment and feel all of this gratitude that you have inside your heart. We are also grateful for our spirit loved ones that have gone before us. Those spirit loved ones that we would gather together on Thanksgiving days past. Recall the memory now in your mind's eye of your Thanksgiving table with your spirit loved ones sitting with you. Just think about all of them together in your mind's eye. Remember what that was like in days past. See them engaging with each other, talking, eating, giving thanks for their family and loved ones. See your precious spirit loved ones sitting with you. And now in your mind's eye, envision your Thanksgiving table of today. You are sitting at the head of the table, your Thanksgiving table of today. Now, in your inner mind, I want you to invite one a few or many of your spirit loved ones, people that have passed, to join you right now at your Thanksgiving table of today. 
call them by name and invite them in. Watch in your mind's eye as one by one they join you. Pretty amazing. Tell them you are so grateful that they are here with you. They are so happy to be with you now. And listen to what they are saying. Notice the smiles on their faces. And just sit in this moment, being with your spirit loved ones at your Thanksgiving table. Now take your focus to one of your spirit loved ones at your table. Walk over to them and outstretch your arms for an embrace. This spirit loved one has a special message for you. Feel their embrace and listen. Thank your spirit loved one for their message and walk back to the head of your table. Express your love and gratitude to all your spirit loved ones for coming on this very special Thanksgiving day. For all this and more, God, we are grateful and we give thanks. We send out healing, love, and light from this gratitude to all life on the planet and to Mother Earth herself. Now just take a few moments to send this healing the gratitude that you have out. And when you are ready, wiggle your toes, come back, and open your eyes. So, let's talk about that this is an exercise. You don't need me to lead you through it. You can go to bed at night, and after you say your prayers or however you end your day, you can lay in bed and you can close your eyes. And you can thank the people that you love so much, that you miss so much, that are on the other side, and think about them. And you can invite them to join you in your dreams so that you may see them, talk to them. A lot of people dream about their spirit loved ones. So this is, this is something that you can do on your own, okay? And if it didn't work for you tonight, if you didn't see anything, that's okay. Because at least you got to feel gratitude in your heart. You got told you have a divine spark, right? Wow. And um, that is awesome. So if we have a caller, that would be great. I would take one if we have a caller to call in for tonight. And if, you know, I'll, I'll listen to see if we have one. Wake up, Dave. He had too much turkey, he told me. So in, in the meantime, while we're grabbing somebody as a caller, I will um, talk about next week's show. Uh, Reverend Angela Hewitt Apt is going to join us for our show. She is a Lilydale registered medium. And she also is the owner of Santosha Holistic Center. So she will be on the show with me next week as a guest. And we will be talking about, I'm not really sure, honestly, yet what we're going to be talking about. I like to ask Spirit what it is we need to talk about. And, but she's um, very fun besides being very good at what she does. So um, it'll be an interesting show. So Dave, do we have a caller for tonight? If not, I'm... that's okay. All right, so I'm I'm still talking. Um, so I was talking about the connection, right? The connection that I feel when I connect to spirit. Um, and as you practice that, as you sit in the quiet in the morning, or whenever it is you take the time to meditate, or just to be in the still. You can practice connecting to spirit just for the purpose of feeling that love from spirit, the God of your understanding. You don't have to necessarily connect to spirit 
to be talking to people on the other side. Okay? You can do that on your own, just for your own purposes. And one of the things that I like to tell people is that opening up your awareness and your psychic senses and your spiritual gifts, as some people call them, right? It's not something that you have to use solely to be a medium. It is something that you can use in your everyday world. You can use it to help make decisions. You can use it to help, you know, help with everything in your world. So this is something that you have at your disposal once you learn how to sit and connect to actually your higher self, the God of your understanding. So yes, thank you for listening. And we do have a caller. Angela, are you there? I am, yes. Hi, Angela from Kingston, Ontario. How are you this evening? I'm great, thank you. Awesome. You had your Thanksgiving a couple weeks ago, didn't you? We did, yes. Yes. So how can I help you tonight? I just wondering, I have, I have a question on whether relationship or career. Okay. All right, Angela. Any information? Okay. So as I step in with you, Angela, um, I'm seeing a lot of red energy, and I feel, I feel that um, for me that means that when you are involved in a relationship, it is very deep and very passionate, and um, you're kind of like all in or all out. Does that resonate with you? Yes. Yes. You're not, you're kind of not. It's it's yeah. It's like you're either all in or all out, and you give everything you have. And I feel yeah. that, um, yeah, and, and I feel that that's, that's what you're looking for in a partner, of course. But I feel that um, right. in, in the past, you have been much better at, um, let's just say you've been much better at the relationship side of things than your partners, as far as jumping feet right. first in, right? Yeah. So right. um, I'm getting chills with that. Yeah. So I feel like I want to tell you, I feel like I want to tell you that what this, the kind of person that you are, I feel that you give off a lot of good energy and you're very, um, I want to say vivacious in regards to your, your bubbly energy. You know, you're a happy person, you know, people can tell that you're a happy yep. person yep. and that type, that type of energy exudes from you. And when you right. do that, it's like that energy attracts, right? And they say like attracts like. So I feel that um, I don't think you need to go looking for this person, okay. right? Because I think, I think you are looking for someone to step up their game, right? So to speak. Right. And I think yeah. my words to you is just continue to be the person that you are, okay? Be open to what the okay. universe, you know, has got in store for you. I think it's going to be when you least right. expect it. And I think it's going to be someone that you wouldn't have expected either. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm feeling like okay. you're going to be like, wow, this came out of left field. I, I never thought about this person that way. Wow. You know, I mean, he, this person might even be somebody that's already around you that you just haven't even, you just haven't looked twice at. Okay. So, okay. So that's, okay. yeah, that's what I'm, I'm thinking, but you don't, you don't need to look for it. Okay. Just be the person that you are. And okay. continue to, you know, be the bubbly, um, kind, generous, loving person that you are. Because I, that's I can feel that, and and you will attract Thank that you. person. Okay. Um, okay. Right, so you were asking about career as well, right? Yes. Please. Okay. So um, I I feel like I want to talk about you're in a, a caregiver field. Does that resonate no. with you? Not at all, huh? No. I feel, 
I feel like there's this part of you that you could be an excellent caregiver. Like yeah. I'm actually see I'm actually yeah. seeing the medical sign. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. So I mean, have you thought about nursing school? Because I'm seeing that. I'm I'm seeing the medical well, sign. Go ahead. I, I am a healer. I'm a healer. Okay. Okay. And I just, or, so, or, I just haven't got it off the ground. Okay. You're a <laughs> All right. So you're a healer. So that's the caregiving piece of it that I feel. Um, but you're yeah. a healer. But I also feel that if you wanted to actually go into a, a I don't want to call it normal, but a, a field, you know, a recognized field. Right. 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 I feel that I, that I, I used, a, to. I used to be a PSW, so a healthcare Which agent. is? You're, oh, okay. So you used to be a health care giver. I used, I used to do that. Like a, okay. long, yeah, yes. a long time ago, I used to do that. Yes. Okay. I, All right. I didn't, so. like the, I didn't like the institution part of it. it it's just okay. not, it's not for me. I can't, I can't be that person. All right. Okay. Well, I'm going to go back to what I was saying. Okay. And I'm saying, because there's <laughs> okay. a, there's okay. a, I'm just going to tell you what Spirit's given me, okay? And they're telling me that, Absolutely. A, you're smart Absolutely. enough, okay? You're smart enough, you're yeah. determined enough, and um, I think the pay would be a heck of a lot better than the field that you're in, you know, the healing field right now. Um, not that it's, right. you know, it's a, it's a very wonderful, I'm a healer myself, so, I mean, I'm not, I'm not dissing the healing field whatsoever. I'm just talking to no, you about what sure. Spirit is showing me. Okay. And right. you obviously have some training already. So there is a, a huge need for people, not just in the institution, but nursing and in many different arenas. Okay. So all I'm right. saying, I, I feel right. like I want to nudge you. So I just heard the word nudge. All right. So <laughs> okay. you, of course, have, you have free will. All right. You do, you do what you want. Yes, Everyone no, on the planet sure. has free for will, sure. but I, I see a two in yes. front of me and I feel like there's a, a two year course or less out there that would certify you in some type of a nursing capacity that spirit is just, I'm just seeing it flash right in front of me. So I have to give what I get. Okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm throwing that out to okay. you. Absolutely. Okay. okay. Anything right. else you want to talk about? Yes. Anything else? Sorry, okay. okay. Is there anything else you'd like to ask? No, that's lovely. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope I hope I didn't ruin your evening <laughs> by telling you you're oh, probably going to go no. back to school. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. I'm oh, hoping not. Sorry. Right? Sorry, it's, but, you know. It's just, just a journey, right? It doesn't matter how old you are when you get to school. No, it doesn't. It really doesn't. And it, what's two? No. You know, what's two years or 18 months? It's exactly. Like, it's like, you know, it goes yes. by like that. No, and a lot of it's sure. so much you can do online anymore. You know what I mean? And there, and yes, you know what? I will tell true. you. I will tell you that, um, not that you want to know what I have to say, but I am going to tell you because... It's my show, Angela. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you that they are doing okay. a lot more healing in the hospitals. Okay. Um, right. We have hospitals right. in the United States that have actually, and I, you're probably more advanced than we are, but that have actually recognized Reiki and different healing modalities as useful, That's beneficial. True. They have started to do that. Yes. Okay. So that's that's another option for okay. you. I mean, if if you wanted to go visit, you could start your own um, healing, you know, circle or whatever of people that go in. I don't know right. that they would pay you though. So I mean, I you know, this is something you have to figure out for True. yourself. With, no, you know, for your, sure. your life and all that. But you can do. That's I know. I know nurses here. I know nurses that are Reiki healers and. They do their Reiki while they're nursing. It's kind of like, right. and even myself, you know, I mean, I don't know exactly what healing modality yeah. you do, but I'm a Reiki master teacher right. and I have been known to sit in a waiting room of a doctor's office with my little 
healing hand off to the side, you know, sending the person next to me, yeah. Reiki, kind of like CIA Reiki, you know, <laughs> it's like yes. nobody knows yes. I'm doing it but me. Uh, do you understand me? Is, right. is that you too, Angela? Yes, is I that do. you? Yeah, yeah. See? Yeah. yeah. We're kindred spirits in that way. Yeah. We're, we're all, or else, or else you're riding on a bus or something, you know, or you're riding in something and you see somebody that's not feeling well. And you're just kind of like this, <laughs> you know, you just got, got your hand up, yes. you know, not that, you, not that you can't send it, you know, in your mind, I, um, but. No, for sure. I do. I, I actually, my business is cleaning houses and yeah. so I cleanse the energy when I'm in there. That's what I'm oh, doing. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So you used to be a care aide. Now you're cleaning houses. And now you're going back to school. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> you just planned your life out. That's yeah. okay. That's okay. Yeah. Wherever you go, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. That's so awesome. Anyways, Thank you yeah. so much. That's, I'm, I'm yeah. happy that you called in tonight. And um, good luck in your endeavors. Thank you. All right. I, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Oh, you're that. welcome. Have a good evening. You're, thank you. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. So just to recap. It's funny how spirit will, will send you things, you know, like I kept seeing the caregiver, you know, and the, and the helping and the caregiver. And so, you, you know, I say it and then it turns out she was a caregiver, she was a personal care aide and that she does work in a healing field. And, um, and it's like as soon as that connection is made between me and the person that I'm giving the reading to, the information starts to flow much quicker and much faster. So um, that's a good example of how it can work. So anyways, um, so next week, don't forget to tune in. Um, like I said, I'm going to have a guest and she'll be a lot of fun and very informational. Reverend Angela Hewitt app. Um, please go to the Facebook group if you are so inclined. Discover your intuitive self or gravitate to my website, brendareading.com. Just want to thank A1R Psychic Radio and Moonstruck TV for bringing you to me on this great Thanksgiving night. Thank you. Bye-bye.